Welcome back, friends. This tale is about one of the deadliest creatures known to man, a mama bear. But it might not turn out as you expect, as this is a story about overcoming one's natural instincts and fear in order to ask for help from the last creature you might expect. I will start this story by saying that it is a fictionalized series of events. However, the main theme and message of this story is an important one that many people might find helpful in their everyday lives. In today's society, it's often not easy to understand one another as the key skills of patience, listening, and kindness are ones that many people have forgotten. Lots of people simply look out for themselves, ignoring anyone less fortunate than themselves who might need a little bit of help to get back on the right track. As well as this, kindness, which could help so many people, is often seen as a weakness that will lead to you being trampled over by anyone bigger or more forceful than yourself. Because of how difficult it is to understand other people in this day and age, it might seem almost impossible to understand animals of different species. But the story that I am going to tell you today shows how a little bit of patience, kindness, and understanding can go a long way in helping someone truly in need. The story that I am about to tell you happened around 15 years ago. An old man who had been a forester his entire life lived in a small village in the territory of Karelia. He lived with his adult daughter, her husband, and their young son. One day, as he often liked to do, the old man wandered into the local forest in order to get some fresh air. He liked to visit the woods as he loved the natural beauty that they possessed as well as all the fresh food they had to offer anyone who looked for it. On this particular day, the old man had gone in search of some blueberries so that he could treat his grandson as he loved to eat fresh berries. And what could be fresher than fruit right from the forest? The old forester knew the area like the back of his hand, so he decided to venture further into the woods so that he could find the really big berries to surprise his grandson. Having found the place that he was looking for, the man wasted no time in squatting down and started to pick the fruit that he found and put it into the basket that he had brought with him. As picking the berries was quite a relaxing and therapeutic activity, the forester quickly lost track of his surroundings. He soon realized that he had come to a massive and deep hole, but he had no clue how he had managed to get there. Suddenly, he heard a furious growl, one that he knew meant danger. The growl had come from a huge bear. It seemed that the animal had sensed that the man was trespassing on its territory and was making it very clear that he was definitely not welcome there. Luckily, the old forester knew that bears liked to roam these forests, and so he didn't come unprepared. He quickly picked up his gun, which he had brought with him, in case of a situation like the exact one he had found himself in. He fired off a shot into the air, hoping to scare the huge beast away. The animal ran to the side of the hole, scared of the noise but seemingly in no hurry to leave the area. It seemed as if there was something that the bear wanted and it would stay around until it had it. Even if it meant getting shot at, the forester scanned the surrounding forest and quickly came to realize why the bear wasn't running away. On the floor, not too far from where he was standing, lay a little bear cub. Upon closer inspection, the old man noticed that the cub had gotten caught in a trap and couldn't get out again. The mama bear was simply guarding her baby, not knowing any other way that she could possibly help it. The man knew that if he did not help the baby animal, it would die in the trap as it would not be able to eat, drink, or protect itself from other predators. Seeing no other option, the forester decided that he would risk his life to save the baby bears. Why was this such a risk for the man? Well, if the mother bear believed that he was trying to hurt her baby in any way, she would attack and possibly kill the old man. Knowing the risks, the forester carefully approached the cub and took out his penknife. He swiftly got to work on opening the trap. After a few tense-filled minutes, it sprung open and the cub broke free. Not wanting to push his luck any further, the man left the area in a hurry and made his way back towards his home. The entire way back through the woods, the man felt as if he was being followed. Knowing that the most likely culprit was the bear, 
He picked up his pace and finally broke through the tree line and into the safety of the open field. Once he felt like he was a safe enough distance away from the woods, he turned around only to see the adult bear standing behind the trees. She gave the forester a look as if she wanted to say thank you for helping her cub, but she didn't know how to. The man did not understand and simply left the forest to go back home. About a year later, the old forester was sitting at home waiting for his daughter and son-in-law. They had been to the city to buy a new baby crib, as they were expecting another child. But the young couple were late, which made the old man worry. Suddenly, one of the man's neighbors ran into his house and started shouting that something terrible had happened. A bear was walking around the village covered in blood and carrying something in its teeth. The forester quickly grabbed his gun and followed his neighbor into the street. They met up with a few of the other men from the village and began firing their guns into the air in hopes that they would scare the bear back into the forest. But it didn't work. After noticing the forester amongst the group, the huge beast lowered its head, put some sort of red bundle on the ground, and walked away to hide behind the trees. The forester realized that it was the same bear from a year ago. He walked closer to the object that the animal had dropped and was shocked at what he saw. Lying on the ground, wrapped in a torn bit of his daughter's dress, was a newborn baby. Terrified at what might have happened to his daughter, the old man scooped the baby up into his arms and began to follow the bear into the woods. As if knowing what the man wanted, the animals started leading him through the forest. They soon came upon an old, rickety and rotten bridge that no one had used for many years. What was surprising, though, was that someone had clearly tried to use it recently, but their weight had been too much and the rotten boards had broken. The forester looked under the bridge and saw his daughter and son-in-law lying on the rocks beneath. He scrambled down to them as fast as he could. When he reached the couple, he noticed that his daughter was still alive, but sadly, her husband had not survived the fall. A rescue team was called out and the woman was taken to the nearest hospital to be treated. After she had stabilized and recovered enough to talk, she explained everything. It turns out that she had persuaded her husband to take her to an old spot that she had loved from her childhood. To get there, though, they had tried to cross the abandoned bridge. The stress of the fall had forced the woman to go into labor. During this, she thought that she saw a bear, but she couldn't be sure as she soon lost consciousness. Having heard the story, the forester came to understand that the beast, whose baby he once saved, had repaid her debt by saving the man's new grandson. And she had managed to do it just in time, as without the bear's help, the old man could have ended up losing everyone that he cared about. At that moment, the old man also realized why the animal never attacked him a year prior. She wanted to say thank you for saving her cub's life. The man just simply didn't understand it then. I think he finally got the message though. This story just proves that sometimes all you need to do is listen a little harder to understand what someone might be trying to say. Whether it's an animal or another human, we could all do with trying to be a bit more patient so that people can express themselves properly. If you liked the video, like and subscribe for more amazing content. I'll see you next time, friends.